Hey guys, Jedi270 back again. As I promised, this is the uh, Red Dragon Airsoft one-to-one -one scale of the Ops Corps Ballistic. Um, love this helmet. Absolutely love it. I got this actually in a trade with a young man named John Urban and uh, traded him a couple of knives for it. And it came as you see it now. Um, I have another friend that's sending me a Rhino arm uh, to go on here and I need to get me a J arm for uh, some uh, NVGs. Uh, this is sitting a little bit farther back than what it should be. But uh, got the Team Honey Badger going on there. I uh, got uh, two different, uh, e got one's an E-Lite and one's a V-Lite. Comes in the red and green. Single push gives you uh, solitary on. Secondary push gives you the strobe effect. I like these a lot better than the mana strobes. I just don't like the look of the mana strobes. Makes me feel like Aquaman or something. To me, it's just gay, and I don't like it. Uh, up on top, we have the Emerson fully functional strobe. This is the MS2000, and of course, you got your safety lock there. Let's see if we can get this. Do your thing. There we go. I love the sound it makes. Just a powerful strobe. And then I put that safety lock back down on it. Now this one, when it came to me, the um, blue cover, when you extend the back all the way down, was missing. I don't know if it just popped out on John or, or what happened, but it's not a big deal for me. Uh, you got the IR patch there. You got the Oc dial. Now, I got a big melon, so I took the brow pad out because I run a uh, baklava, if you want to call it that, the little thing that you uh, put on your head, a little hoodie thing. So that shields me there, and I put that pad down there in the top and in the back. And when I say I got a big melon, I'm talking seven and a half, and this is a medium large, okay? So with those pads out of there, it still feels comfortable. Uh, for the size that it is, and I like it a lot. Now, what I'm running with it is the steel uh, mesh lower half mask. And let's see if I can do this with one hand. You've got your helmet clips. Now, these are real Ops Core clips here. Okay, they're not the dragon red ones. I like how they just clip into place, and I'm going to put some... Uh, combo on these things give me some MSA swords but then I put it up here when I'm not using it like I would goggles because see I run revision glasses hell flies so I don't need uh, goggles I don't like goggles they fog so there you go there you have it that is the ops core premium edition from Red Dragon Airsoft. Now these things are about $130 shipped. Let's see if I can get in close, give you some kind of an idea of the texture. There you go. See that texture? It's, it's just an incredible helmet. Just a heavy helmet. It's not too heavy. And you see how thick it is versus some of the Lancer tactical stuff and the cheaper helmets. The element and the element stuff like that. And there's cheaper ways to go. You know, you don't have to have big, expensive, and fancy. I just I just like the higher end stuff because it tends to be a better quality. So uh, there you go, Jedi270. I thank you for watching. And uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm still trying to get all the stuff straightened out. So. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for being with me, and God bless you.